Hi, everybody. Uh, Jay Rouse here. Sing Out Our Savior's Birth. This is Words and Music by Mary McDonald, arranged by Mary McDonald. This is the way you need to open your Christmas service this year. Um, it actually comes from a musical that Mary and I did together called Love Made Away. We did it a couple seasons ago. Um, and this was the song that opened that whole musical. Mary has this ability to um, just, I think, write these big, expansive, beautiful melodies uh, that lend itself to choral singing, just better almost than anyone I know. And that's what this is. is. That's what this is. It's it got joy to the world. It starts with that. And then she wrote her own melody eventually um, that goes with it. Um, Sing and rejoice for Christ has come to dwell. Tell all the world that Christ is born. I just, I've always loved the melody. I actually used it to open the musical and to close it. So it could work easily as an opening of a Christmas service or a closing of a Christmas service. Um, really joyful, really Christmassy, all the feels that you want for Christmas. I hope you'll take a look at Sing Out Our Savior's Birth from Mary McDonald, uh, Medallion Music Christmas. Hi guys, Jay Rouse here. Um, brand new song for Christmas 2020, Sing We the Song of Emmanuel. This is a brand new song from Matt Boswell and Matt Papa. It's from their His Mercy Is More album. And from the first time I heard it, I just loved um, kind of how the song feels. I always say, um, you know, especially at Christmas, it's difficult to find really great worship songs. Uh, songs that sing well, 
um, but are not just Christmas carols. This is the chorus. God most high in a manger laid, lift your voices and now proclaim, great and glorious love has come to us. Join now with the hosts of heaven. It is a Richie Kingsmore arrangement, so you know it's going to work. The orchestration is going to be extremely easy to play, especially at Christmas if you need a great song. Sing We the Song of Emmanuel is something you should definitely check out.
This is a brand new arrangement from one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Mary McDonald. It's titled Noel. Um, Mary is not only one of the funniest persons I know, and if you ever get a chance to um, go out to dinner with her, I say do it. You'll have a great time. Um, but she's also one of the most talented musicians I know. I just love the way her, the way her heart makes its way into the music and onto the, onto the page beautiful piano player and you can it's reflected in this so incredible piano transcription this is a setting of the first noel and while it incorporates some of the original melody of the first noel it's a brand new melody as again only mary can write so it's very broad and sweeping and gorgeous about halfway through there is a key change and then as you get over to the end it just gets bigger and bigger again in true mary mcdonald fashion there is an optional high c at the end if you choose to do it um, so I really encourage you to take a look at this, a wonderful anthem for Christmas, uh, any, Sunday, any one of the Sundays this would work beautifully. Noel from Mary McDonald and Medallion Music.
Holy as the Child is a brand new Christmas anthem from Medallion Music for Christmas 2020. And um, it's written by Robert White Johnson and John Grimsey, and it was uh, arranged by Richie Kingsmore, arranged and orchestrated. Um, I don't remember how many years ago it was that I started working with Richie, but I love his orchestrations. So accessible, so playable. His arrangements are excellent. He's just a, a kind of a one-stop shop, really talented. Um, and this song is kind of a minor haunting setting of, of the, the melody is kind of minor and haunting. I mean, it, try, it kind of feels to me like Trans-Siberian Orchestra because it really gets up and goes, especially if you have an orchestra. This is a wonderful song for you to consider. I think it would work great on any Sunday or actually could be a part of a program that you're putting together, especially like something with dance. This would just be gorgeous. Very singable and learnable. Um, incredible orchestration from Richie Kingsmore. Please take a listen to Holy as the Child.
I get the honor of sharing with you a brand new anthem for Christmas for Medallion Music, Hymn for Christmas. Words by Marty Parks, and the melody is actually Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, also arranged and orchestrated by Marty Parks. Um, I think this is one of the most familiar melodies, and I think it works in so many settings, but I think it's especially nice at Christmas. And so when Marty uh, first uh, sent this to me, I, I loved the melody immediately, and then his lyric, um, especially here's the last verse. This is the last kind of big bombastic uh, verse. Long awaited Christ Messiah, born a child yet born a king. Let this universe proclaim it. Let the earth rise up and sing glory be in the highest and to all be peace on earth. God has shown his love among us by this blessed holy birth. It's kind of just the full message of Christmas, and I think um, will work wonderfully any time at Christmas um, that you choose to use it. Please check it out. Arranged and orchestrated by Marty Parks. Hymn for Christmas. My favorite people to work with is Mary McDonald, and several years ago we worked together on a musical called Love Made Away, and this particular anthem, Worship His Glory, Worship the King, comes from that musical. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to that, I really encourage you to, to also Google that and give a listen to that. Um, but this is one of the songs from that work, and um, this is from Mary. She ar- wrote and arranged this. It's got this ba do da kind of a gospel feel to it. I love the chorus, especially that's the worship his glory. It kind of gets in your heart and you can't let it out or you can't get it out. (laughs) You you can let it out. Uh, Anyway, it just is one of those songs that your choir will love, your congregation will love. It's honestly one of those things you could do even multiple Sundays in the Christmas season. Um, So again, as only Mary can do, worship his glory, worship the king, gospel feel, 
really uh, a wonderful new anthem for Christmas 2020 medallion music. from Medallion Music Christmas 2020. This is Christ the King. This is uh, an anthem by Marty Parks. I have for years said that Marty is a one-stop shop. He can literally do it all, and he's always ready to go. I call him and say, hey, do you have anything new? And literally, (laughs) uh, several days later, I have two or three things in my inbox. And one of the things I love that he does the best is take familiar melodies to us so carols or hymns this in in this instance it's a carol it's what child is this and put it in kind of a different setting this is kind of a rhythmic pulse kind of a little bit of a groove to it which you don't always think of for what child is this but it works wonderfully works really really well it includes all three verses and then 
it doesn't really even end big. It kind of ends gentle, which I think is actually really appropriate to this song and allows it to be in some different places in your worship service. So I think that works really well. Um, wonderful orchestration, the arrangement. This is one of those things you can easily teach your choir in several weeks. Um, and then, especially at Christmas when you're doing so many other things, perhaps you have a big musical and all that kind of stuff on your plate. This is a great new thing to kind of stick in your repertoire for Christmas. Marty Parks, This is Christ the King. Please take check it out, Medallion Music. Away in a Manger, this is a brand new arrangement that I did for Medallion Music for Christmas this year. Um, I love settings uh, where I can take a beautiful solo instrument, in this case it was a cello, and put it with piano. Piano is kind of my foundation. I've been a piano player since I was a kid. It's kind of how the ideas and music flows through me is through my fingers and through the piano. And in this case, uh, choir. So piano, cello, and choir. And that's how I arranged this. And I think that's such a beautiful pairing, um, piano and, and cello. And I actually used both uh, 
both melodies, the Kirkpatrick and the Murrah. Um, and those that's been done before. Um, they do pair together well. But I tried to find a way to look at it a little bit differently. Um, the second verse, I actually go into a bit of a minor mode um, just for a minute as we're setting that up. And then as I often do in these kind of arrangements, the choir becomes your orchestra. And then the transition uh, between verse 2 and verse 3, there's this kind of big, um, where the, the choir kind of becomes the apex of the arrangement. Um, and they're just, they're singing ahs and oohs, so they're functioning as an orchestra almost. And then we go into the last verse, be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay. So while it does kind of grow, it never gets huge. And I think it's just a perfect setting. Um, they actually commissioned this for Christmas Eve and they used it on a Christmas Eve and it will definitely work that way, but it will work in a lot of different settings at Christmas heading into prayer. Um, just a classic Christmas song, hopefully a new and fresh um, arrangement of it, Away in a Manger, Medallion Music, Christmas.
Uh, I am so grateful for the work that I get to do with the Lorenz Corporation. I am the editor of a, an imprint there called uh, Medallion Music, and this is Medallion Acapella Christmas Volume 1. I love working with acapella music. I've always loved it since I was a kid. Derek Johnson is a huge hero of mine. I always wanted to see if I could <laughs> write something like him. I'm not sure I ever attained that, but I love his work, and I've written acapella music through the years. Um, this is a collection that was commissioned for a listening project that I did a couple summers ago, and it turned out so beautifully that I thought I would bend it into, into publishing as well. Uh, there are four songs, so you get four songs in one when you buy this. Uh, the first one is See Amid the Winter Snow, which is easily one of my favorite uh, Christmas carols. The last part, Sing Throughout Jerusalem, Christ is Born in Bethlehem. Christ is born in Bethlehem. I just, I love the lyric and I love the melody and it just came together beautifully. Angels We Have Heard on High. This is a really modern setting of that uh, carol uh, with kind of repeating chords uh, in, in, the, in the accompaniment part and then a solo. Really cool if you have a, an ensemble, maybe a youth ensemble, it might be something for them to look at. Um, Lo Hell Rose is very close harmonies. Again, might be fun for an ensemble or even a quintet. And then Go Tell It on the Mountain is kind of a do 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 go. I'm not really a bass, but um, it gives you a feel for what that's the kind of feel that that is. And that one to me is probably the most accessible and easy to learn. Your choir can learn that really quick and they would love it. And it'd be a ton of fun to sing, especially maybe when you find your choir in settings where they don't have a, you know, a piano or there's no guitar handy or whatever for them to have something that can do a cappella is really fun. So. Again, if you enjoy a cappella, I really encourage you to take a look at this Medallion a cappella from Medallion Music, Christmas Volume 1. I'd love for you to take a chance and listen to it. See amid the winter snow, born to us on earth below. See the tender
watching for silent flocks by night. We hold throughout the heavens the short of holy life. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain. While Shepherds Watch Their Flocks by Night has always been a beautiful lyric to me. And I had the honor this year of putting together an arrangement that combines that lyric with the melody of Coventry Carol. When I was in high school, um, we did a magical dinner with our choral department. And it's the first time I'd ever heard the Coventry Carol, that, that song. I wasn't familiar with it. And that melody has kind of stuck with me. now. The original kind of archaic lyrics aren't something you can necessarily use as all, as easily. But one day I was just working on something and I realized that while shepherds watched their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, it all comes together uh, beautifully. And this is just piano and choir. So it really gives your piano player a chance to shine a little bit and then gives your choir a chance to shine. Um, there are several what I think are pretty interesting key changes, that kind of thing. It has that kind of feel to it. Um, and then it kind of builds. It never gets really big, but it builds a little bit towards the end of the second verse. And then it comes back and states um, what, what is really one of my favorite verses. All glory be to God on high and to the earth be peace. Good will henceforth from heaven to men begin and never cease. I think it's probably one of the most... Um, apropos lyrics especially at Christmas which is so busy and right now heading into the the Christmas after this year um, these are the kind of lyrics we need to be singing um, lyrics of assurance and to remind us uh, this baby born in a manger is the savior of the world uh, so I hope that you'll take a listen to it while shepherds watch their flocks from medallion music
Several years ago, Mary McDonald and I had the chance to work on a musical for Medallion Music called Love Made Away, and this is actually the title track. This is an octavo anthem release uh, from that work. We actually got so much response about this song that we uh, released this song early, but it's just now officially releasing in the packet. Um, I love my work with Mary. I love any chance I get to work with Rose Aspinall, and she actually created um, the lyric for this, and then I put the melody together. Um, there are so many amazing parts of the Christmas story, um, but the most amazing thing is not how he came, but that he, that he came at all, that he would choose to come. And I'm kind of one of those guys who kind of thinks, if you give me enough time and uh, resources, I can figure this thing out. And the reality is most of the time, <laughs> I end up back at square one feeling like, what was I thinking? How did I think this was exactly gonna work? There's only one way that ultimately it all comes together and ultimately it all works. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And his heart from the beginning was to bring us back to him, to meet us where we are and to love us just as we are. And I, kind of, I think it's the most um, compelling part of the gospel is that ultimately, regardless of where you find yourself, whatever you've done, what your history is, he loves you just that way. That was our um, impetus for writing this song and um, only love could write this kind of story. Love made a way. Um, I hope you'll take a listen to this uh, brand new anthem from Medallion Music for Christmas this year. Even as we sing the carols of his birth, we are reminded that this baby is so much more. His coming means freedom for the captive, sight for the blind, good news for the poor. Jesus is love incarnate, and he alone makes a way home for fallen man. Yeah. 
favorite Christmas carols is Go Tell It on the Mountain. Um, I think it's just one of those uh, ones you can't get through the season without singing. Um, and this is kind of a groovy, hip version um, of Go Tell It on the Mountain. It originally comes from a musical I did with Mary McDonald called Love Made Away, but we've pulled it out here so that you can easily use it. Um, this can be used in a ton of settings. You can definitely with your choir and orchestra, it really would work perfectly that way. Um, also, if you wanted to just use the top three parts, a worship team could easily use this as just a Christmas carol in your worship services at Christmas. Or um, I think it'd be a great, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, multi-gen, where you could add your worship, uh, your worship choir and a youth choir. Maybe even you want to put kids in with this. Um, I did three different verses. There's a little bit of a key change. Um, just kind of a cool backbeat uh, very fun version of Go Tell It on the Mountains. I hope you'll take a look at it, new from Medallion Music. Yeah.